just about packed up 9.52 Chris and I have been up for about an hour and a half now and we just got the room straight got all of our stuff together doing our last little sweep then we're going to go into Magic Kingdom that is our plan our flight isn't until 9 p.m. however I want to get to the airport around 6 so we have plenty of time it's a holiday here it's Labor Day so I'm preparing myself to deal with the crowds at the airport hopefully they won't be too bad hello there what's up Wonderlanders it's the last day it's kind of sad but it's okay we're going to Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. We're going to Tony's Tavern. <laughs> Tony's Town Square. Same difference. <laughs> We're going to ride some rides. Oh yeah, I have a virtual queue for Tron that actually has been called. So we'll see if we can hop on that. But that might be the only ride that we get done today, which... That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that too. I really want to go into the People Mover as well, but... Can we just live here? I mean, yeah. <laughs> let's just live here. I'm down. Like, let's live just in this room at this resort. No, I don't want to live. In, I don't want to live in this resort. If I had to choose a Grand resort, Club. no. If I had to choose a resort, that's a great question. If I had to choose a resort to live in, I would live in the Polynesian bungalows at the Polynesian. Oh, because they got like. Because it's like a house. It's it's like a three or four bedroom, and it's like I don't know, like a thousand dollars a night or some hey, obscene Disney, number. If you're watching, oh wait, hold on, stop. If Disney, you're watching, if you ever want to, you know, maybe just sponsor us, you know, we'd love to do a <laughs> month challenge, you know, do do Disney for a month. Has anyone ever done that? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Someone's done a month. Yeah. I've I've heard of a few people doing that. That's yeah. intense, but I'm down. I do Disney for that would be a very leisure trip. And I, I feel oh, like yeah. if you're here in Disney for a month and you don't do everything, you did it wrong. I need to zip up my suitcase and drop everything off at Bellhop and then we'll take a bus to Magic Kingdom. So we'll see you over in MK. Honey, is there anything you'd like to add at this point? Um I'm sad because it's the last day, but it's okay. You know, that's what it's all about. We were here for six days, though. We were here for a while, yeah. It was great. I could totally easily do another week. Oh, yeah, me too. I'd love to do two weeks. I'd love to do a week in one resort and a week in another. Yeah. That'd be nice. 2025? We'll see. But yeah, no, I'm just I'm just ready. Go in the parks, maybe ride a couple rides, eat some food. Let's go. We have arrived at the Magic Kingdom. There's a slight breeze in the air. It doesn't feel as humid as it did yesterday. It's like 82 degrees right oh now. Oh my god, it's so nice. As opposed to the 93 degrees oh my god at 10 o'clock in the morning yes we have to go through security and then we'll check in with you guys when we tap in i gotta return this my darth vader thing the lightsaber is supposed to light up and it doesn't so we're gonna go to the emporium so i can swap it out and then we're gonna put it in a locker so i don't have to walk around the park with it good morning how are you sweetie i'm a little sad it's our last tap in before we uh before we leave tonight but you know Right. Oh, absolutely. Right. I'll be there back in go. two months. Oh, <laughs> <you go. 
All right, Wonderlanders, our first mission is to swap out Darth Vader, pick up some souvenirs for the fam, and then head on in. Hopefully we could still do Tron. Chris, do you want to try to still do Tron? We can if we have time. I'm not rushing to do it, though. Okay. Let's ride a classic ride. You want to do a classic? Okay. Like, it's a small world. Oh, Lord. Uh, well, um... It's a small world after all. If you really want to do it, I'll do it. No, I really don't. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'll have to say it's 1047 and Main Street is pretty empty compared to, like, the past couple days. I think a lot of people left yesterday. Loading up the trolley car. Pretty, pretty. Well, hello, sir. Would you like your shoes to shine? Sure. You gonna shine them? My throne. No. <laughs> I tried. All right, let's go get a locker. So if you ever need a locker, you need to come all the way to the front entrance and there's locker rentals to the right-hand side of Magic Kingdom's entrance. You have to be in the park, aka have to tap your magic band, have to tap your pass to get in, but you can get a locker in here and like we're doing, hold all of your crap in the locker so you don't yeah, have to walk around with it. Around with this. Yeah, no. And you put in your special code that you paid with. And bada bing, bada boom. Into Tomorrowland we go. Buzz has a 15 minute wait. People Mover has a five minute wait. So that is on the agenda. Please step carefully onto the moving platform, then step into the car. For your safety, remain seated at all times, keeping hands, arms, feet, legs, and other appendages inside your car. This is the TTA Blue Line, non-stop service around Tomorrowland. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Paul Asking a question. Your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster labs, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. First up, Progress City. Walt Disney's amazing left. dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City is inspired by Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny boring. So excited. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are no longer sold. Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life forms, our people mover journey has nearly come hey, full forward. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. Okay, now it's time for fun. Samantha's gonna crush this. She's oh, she always does good. I'm just her support buddy. I don't really play, I just kind of... You're my emotional support husband. Well, I, I move the cart to make sure we're lined up. Yeah. But we're expecting wait times to be low because there's a Halloween party tonight, and so far, it's proven true. We're going to fly in for a mini launch to infinity and beyond. Okay, the camera is going away because I'm very serious about this ride, so we'll update you with the scores after. I think I'm going to win. Please not make attention, I'm going to win. Well, I have failed the mission. I did not get Galactus Hero. <laughs> I think your gun was messed up. I think so too. Uh, that, at least that's what I'm going to go with. Well, there was a couple times I was trying to move the cart and it was like not moving and it was lagging. And then I'd move it to the left and then it would slowly go right. Yeah. It's an old ride. It's janky. It's still fun though. 
it is still fun. My first score was like 779,000, and my second score was like half of that. So, I mean, I'm still in the 100,000s, but I'll get it the next trip. She's gotten it multiple times, so it's not yeah. that big of a deal. But I got a, we got a cream cheese pretzel to make me feel a little bit better. She's gonna try it first, I already tried it. I'm curious to see what she's gonna say. So, first looks and smells, it reminds me of a cheese Danish, so I kind of have high hopes for this. Mm. So it's sweet cream cheese in the middle. Mm -hmm. I was expecting it to kind of just be normal cream cheese, because I got mustard, but it's sweet, so that'd just be weird. It's not bad. I like it. What would you rate it out of 10? I'm gonna go with a seven out of 10. Seven? Yeah, I would definitely give this again. It counts as a snack credit. I really like sweet cream cheese. Like, I like the cream cheese danishes at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> and this is almost exactly what it reminds me of. The pretzel is, is throwing me off just a little bit, so that's why I didn't give yeah. it a higher rating. And baseline is just my supreme pretzel. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a 10 plus. But this is either like, I think this is like number two for me on property. Baseline is number one. This is, this is coming out of number two. I would agree with that that it is number two for pretzel for me. Mm -hmm. I gave it a six out of 10, okay. only because I really wanted it to be just like savory cream cheese in the middle. I don't think I'd get it again, or at least go out of my way to get it. Now, if you were to get it or someone in our group would get it, I'd, I'd have a couple bites, but I'm glad that I did though. It's not bad, it's really good. You know? It's good, I would get it again. And the pretzel came from the launching pad in Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. I mobile ordered because y'all know I like my mobile ordering. And we are sitting in Cosmic Ray. So if you hear the concert going on, that's Sunny Eclipse playing his uh, keyboard. So we're gonna finish this, and the wait times are all pretty low. Yeah. I have my eye on Little Mermaid. The small world's only five minutes. No, you really don't want to. Oh, I thought he was being serious when he said that earlier. <laughs> no, I don't need to ride. It's a small world. Um, the Tiki Room, which you've never done, is about a 15-minute wait. Is that a ride? It's a show. With tiki, like tiki, tiki, very tiki, old tiki. animatronics. Yeah, I've, I've seen videos of it. Maybe. Um, other than that, I'm really not too sure, but we'll look at the weights here in a bit and then kind of go from there. Yeah, so we'll catch you in a little bit. We're going to finish this pretzel and we're back. I want to go and see if I am worthy enough to pull the sword from the stone. You think you pull it from the stone? No. Watch me try, and then she and I can't do it, and she goes right behind me, and then she pulls it. That's kind of how it goes. I'm also curious. Do you think it's a cast member watching, or do you think it's random? I've heard so many. Like I've done I, research about this to try to figure I it out. I have no idea. Yeah, apparently it's like magic. In, well, that's what they say. Apparently, like <laughs> there's rumors of like in Disneyland, there's like a light somewhere near it that if it's green, you can pull from it, or there's a cast member who like watches it and pulls the trigger. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. If I pull that sword from that stone, I'm gonna flip out. Yeah. We'll see. So we're gonna go we'll find see if it. You do it. I wasn't worthy, but maybe uh, Samantha is. Look at those guns. <laughs> nope. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Oh, five minutes. I can do that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. We are going under the sea. Under the sea. Can't see me though. Ha ha, something in there. <laughs> Happy, happy ride. 
good. I like it. It was a great AC break. Yeah, oh yeah. That used to be my favorite movie. And, until Stitch, right? Until I, well, I, I've always, well, I've, like, I've known about Lilo and Stitch, but I watched it on the plane right here, and I don't know, I fell in love again. I was like, you know what, this is, because I relate to Stitch a little bit, you know, I didn't have a really, a, you know, big family growing up. I've been on my own since 17. Don't really... You know, I went like 15 years without talking to my parents, um, and I met Samantha's family, and you know, I was their ugly duckling. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. Absolutely. And no Mickey bar gets left behind. Or uh, Niga Hala Krista. <laughs> no Mickey bar gets left behind, as I was saying, because Chris is about to use one of our last snack credits. To get a, which one are you getting? What's it called? The ice cream sandwich. The ice cream sandwich. There we go. And then a storm is looks a like it's brewing behind me. So we're gonna seek refuge in Space Mountain right now. It only has a 15 minute wait. So the waits are great. We are not doing multi pass today. We're just doing standby. And I feel the rain. So oh, hopefully this is quick. I also bumped into a friend, Bippity Boppity Beard. We'll put it. We'll tag him in the um, comments below. But he was so awesome. His whole family was really cool. He took the time to talk to Samantha and I. Really cool dude. If you haven't seen his content, go check him out. Let's get some ice cream. Well, we're back in Cosmic Rays again, and uh, that's because, like perfect Florida fashion, it is absolutely downpouring outside. I'm a little upset because when I checked the weather, it wasn't supposed to storm until like three or four o'clock. So I didn't bring any rain gear. So that's a lesson learned. Always bring your rain gear. That was a rookie mistake. I should have not made that. But to my defense, I was just trying to pack everything and just take the absolute minimum to the parks. And I, I completely failed us. But we're dry and we're inside. And it wasn't a total loss because you know, I got some shopping done. We're waiting it out. Our lunch reservation isn't until another half an hour, so we really can just we could just sit here for as long as we can. And that's kind of the situation now. Uh, Chris, how was your ice cream bar? It was really good. This is a standard ice cream bar. I just I needed something like cold and refreshing, and that's what that was. And tasty. But I am hungry. I can go for some like pasta and some salad and a beer. Oh, oh. <laughs> technical difficulties. But yeah, this rain came out of nowhere. It was clear skies. Yeah. And then it got dark quick. So I check the radar here, see how long this is gonna be going for. The last we checked, it should only be going for like 20 minutes. Yeah, that's what I saw too. Sad that we're leaving. I don't want to leave. I know, it's coming to that hour. Let's manifest a month long trip in Disney. Do we want to do a month though? Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I've missed Momo's too much. Our Momo, a beautiful, cute little Momo. We'll put a picture in right now. So it looks like there will be a little bit of a break in the rain between like 1.15 and 1.30. So that's when we can book it to Tony's Town Square. And then after that, we might have we might have to mosey on out depending on the time. So Tony's might be the last thing that we get to do in the parks. But we'll keep you updated. We made it to Tony's. We'll buy some ponchos. With two very overpriced ponchos, but we did get our AP discount on them. They weren't that bad. They're ten bucks a piece. But yeah, I mean they rip easily. Yeah. So the cast member uh, gave us our receipt, so that if they do rip, we can swap them out. So that's good to know. Yep. But we're all checked in for our lunch reservation. It is hot in here in Tony's. Everybody's trying to take cover from the rain. So when you say hot, you mean like temperature-wise, or it's popping? It's popping. <laughs> we can't confuse the Wonderlanders. We speak millennium. Yes. Yeah, sorry. 
I don't know all the new lingo. There, we're waiting for our name to be called. I'm very hungry. What about you? Pasta salad beer. I'm excited. I'm gonna have some wine, enjoy our last table service credit. And then I think the plan is to go back to the resort after this. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so uh, we'll catch you guys when we get our table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect! I'll sit on that side. Feels good to be sitting down. Yeah, it does. It's a little chilly, but that's because we're a little wet. Well, if you want my sweatshirt, you can put it on. Yes, please. <laughs> my new sweatshirt. Samantha buys a new sweater. I wear it first. Chris is wearing my spooky sweatshirt. I like it. Do I look good, Wonder Yeah, your name. I don't look good, because I'm wet. Well, you always look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what you're going to get this time? Yeah, so I'm going to get the uh, rigatoni alla vodka. The last time I was here, I got the uh, tortellini al forno, but I'm going to switch that up. Well, our last drink on property, possibly, possibly, if you don't drink at that hotel. I might do a shot. But cheers to a very successful, fun vacation, especially with Kelly and Stu. Best you one You are yet. welcome back anytime. And we will be back very soon. So cheers to our future and our future Disney trip. And all our Wonderlanders out there, cheers to you. Because if it wasn't for y'all, we, we wouldn't be able to do this. And we really do appreciate and love each and every single one of you. So at the end of the day, cheers to you. Nothing like a Stella to wash your Disney pains away. Your sorrows away. <laughs> well, not Disney sorrows. I mean by Disney pains, it's just my feet hurt, my back hurt, my neck hurts, my fingers hurt. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for our food, let's do a quick little review of the trip. We'll okay. do like we'll do the top three. Yeah. But we'll do top ride, top experience, which could be anything, and top food item. So. Top ride, top experience, top food item. Yeah. Right. No particular order. I want to do it top ride first. Actually, I want to do particular order for rides. <laughs> uh, Guardians number one, Tron number two, and Big Thunder number three. Experiences. Uh, having Kelly and Stu here for the first time on Wonderland TV. That was that was really good. Staying at Coronado Springs. Beautiful resort. Yes. That resort is underrated. In my mind, we stayed at a deluxe. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was gorgeous. Yeah. Even though I lost my luggage, I was still able to enjoy myself and have a good time. And this is one of my favorite trips that we've gone on. Besides our honeymoon, but that's different. Right? Oh, yeah. That's always going to be like number yeah. one. And then, top three food items. Toledo's, oh. hands down one of the best meals we've had on property, very delicious, baseline pretzel, <laughs> finally we got to do it, we haven't done it in a couple, in a few of these series we haven't been able to go, yeah. then what stands out, what, what stands out, cheeseburger spring rolls, those are my rides, experiences and foods, what about you, food experiences first. <laughs> Well, let me do rides first, so I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did, I did rides first. I'm sorry. Top rides, Guardians. I think Guardians is my number one property now. That, that's my favorite ride. Agreed. Number two would be Tron, because I love Tron. It's a good one. Number three would be, I'm going to say the Safari in Animal Kingdom, because that was a really good Safari. I, I really enjoyed that. 
experiences would be number one. I'm gonna copy Chris's answer. Having Kelly and Stu with us. That's my. I, I mean, just having your family with you. There's there's nothing like it. And it was really fun, and you know they got to see a little behind the scenes. How we do our thing. So as you notice, appetizers popped up, but we're gonna get to that in a second. Number two experience would be meeting our new friends. Oh my god. <laughs> Meeting our new friends, Josh Duh. and Gamble and Jessica. It's, it's been a whirlwind of a day. Yeah, uh, yes. uh, Josh and Gamble. Yeah, man, y'all are awesome. And Gamble picked up the tab for our birthday. You the man. Third experience would be Coronado Springs as well. I really enjoyed the tower. It was a beautiful room. I really enjoyed so like beautiful. just staying in the tower and just taking an elevator up and down to all the amenities. The views beautiful. were great. And then my top food items, which we're about to eat, I, I don't have to say it. Number one right here. Tony's uh, garlic bread for the table. My number two would be the raclette cheese at Food and Wine Festival. And number three will be the experience at Toledo. So there are my top threes. Chris is already getting into the garlic bread. I'm hungry. You can listen to her while I eat. So we're going to enjoy our apps. We got some garlic bread and some salad. And when we get our mains. <laughs> Is it good? Like a warm hug? <laughs> That's what you want to call it, yeah. It's a warm hug. Alright, so our food finally got here. I went with the uh, penne alla vodka. What'd you get, Sam? Shrimp alfredo. That looks really good. So we're going to dig in, and then I guess we'll catch you at dessert, and then we'll give you a review once we're done. It's a little loud in here. And we're really hungry, so we'll catch you in a little bit. <laughs> Well, I am completely full of pasta and bread and carbs. I'm and so stuffed. <laughs> the gross. So, honey, how did you like your second Tony's Town Square experience? Not so much. Uh oh. I, I I liked it more the first time, but I think there was a, a lot more things in play. Meaning, it was our honeymoon. You also were sitting outside. Mm -hmm. It was at night. And we got to kind of see some of the fireworks and the music. Yeah. So that kind of maybe distracted me a little bit. This time we were indoors for lunch, nothing but the food. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. The bread that they serve is really good. Mm -hmm. Like the focaccia that you dip in the sauce. The salad, the Caesar salad tasted weird. And I think I said that last time. You did say that last it, time. It just doesn't really taste like... Caesar dressing, I don't know, it was just something weird about it. And my um, penne alla vodka was okay. There was, I ordered a chicken one, there was like maybe three or four small pieces of chicken in it. And then I ordered the uh, chocolate gelato for dessert. And it's either not gelato, it tasted like ice cream. I've had real gelato before and it was a lot smoother than that. So either it wasn't gelato or it was been sitting in the freezer for a long time. So I'm a little disappointed with this trip. That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, just sometimes it's like that, you know, and, and it's completely okay. And again, we always want to be honest as, as best as we can. What about you? I know you really like this place. What was your experience like? I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10. The garlic bread is my favorite. That's good. The carrot cake cannoli was very good. But my pasta was lacking flavor, and they gave me so much of it. I felt so lot. bad. The service was fantastic. Andrew was great, yeah. The drinks were good. And for that reason, that was my rating. But I will go back, but I'm not going to go back anytime soon. I yeah. think Chris and I still need to try the Plaza Inn and Skipper Canteen here in the Magic yeah. Kingdom. And the... Well, Be Our Guest and Cinderella's Table. I really want to really... try Be Our Guest. Yeah, so maybe on the next trip. I recommend, too, to not get Tony's Tavern in the middle of the day since it's so carb-heavy. Um, that's well, something you want to do towards the end of the night. Yes. In fairness to us, we're only going to be here for another hour. Right, and that's why we did it. We know yeah. better, but yeah. I feel gross. So let's take a look at the wait times and see where we're going to go. Yeah, let's do that. So... Space Mountain's 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Let's walk over that way. Big Thunder's 20 minutes. Yeah, let's go over there. What do you want to do first, Big Thunder? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
closest, right? Your call. Well, I Space, Space, Space Mountain's closer. Space Mountain. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen Space Mountain as a 10 minute wait at 3 o'clock. I am unable to film on Space Mountain, so the camera's gonna go bye bye. And we'll see you after our launch. Going on the classic here. It's a small world. My husband actually requested. I've never been on it. I know the song. Never been on it. Let's figure let's do it. The five minute wait, I believe. So why not? AC is nice in there. <laughs> yes. And as we're trying to get out of the park because of this. Yeah, it's about to pour the, again. The clouds are coming in. Yeah. We saw Matt and Allie, so hey guys. That was so cool. We were walking by and they're like, oh my god, hey. And like I looked at it, looked away, and I looked back, I was like, us? They're like, yeah. I'm so sorry, I probably have RBF because I'm just like trying to like yeah. run through the park. <laughs> we gotta catch <laughs> a, so uh, a an Uber to go to the airport, yeah. so we're in a hurry, but Matt and Allie, thank you for watching all of our stuff. You guys are awesome. Stay tuned for more things. And yeah, just that was really neat. We always love meeting Wonderlanders out there. Yeah. So well, let's go pick up your locker. Yeah, we got to go pick up the locker. We're taking the whole locker with us. Yeah, we're going to go to the locker, get my Darth Vader, get on the Uber, go to the resort, go to the airport, and we'll catch you at some time in between everything I just said. So let's do it. That is part of the trip. But we'll be back very soon for the holiday season. And I can't wait. The lift will be here in a half an hour. My husband's getting drinks. I'm not sad, I'm just like tired. I'm like ready to transported home. Just wanted to say a special thanks to Kelly and Stu for being the best Disney World companions a girl could ask for. They went with the flow, they were super chill, it was really really fun and uh, a great experience sharing with my family what Chris and I go through as far as like vlogging and stuff. So it was, it was great to have that support. Thank you for, thank you to all of the Wonderlanders that we have met throughout our vacation. Thank you to all of our new friends that we met along the way. It's been a, a very fun trip and each trip holds a special memory and this trip will definitely hold some special memories as well. So, I'm gonna wait. Chris to get back and then we are gonna sign off. I'm not gonna vlog the airport. I just wanna put the camera away and just kind of be a zombie <laughs> and just go through the airport and not have to worry about pulling out my camera. I just wanna put it away. Hello. I got a beer. In pure Christopher fashion. Oh. So I shared my final thoughts with everybody. Would you like to share your final thoughts? Your favorite ginger here. It's that time of the trip where we go back home. This was a good one. I'm tired. This beer's tasting good. I have to admit, Coronado might be my new favorite resort. This has been 
an absolutely fabulous day. I mean, this resort, hands down, is just one of the best ones we've stayed at. And it's, I, I just can't say it enough how underrated this resort is. This is basically a deluxe resort. It's just missing some of the amenities. But with that being said, this is by far my favorite trip. And I can't wait to come back just won't tell you when but we are coming back. You know we're always gonna come back. We're never not gonna just not go. Just to be able to spend time with my wife and you know Kelly and Stu and to kind of show them how we do Disney and, and you know experiencing some new things. It's just it's really cool. I just I, I, I just you know I I know I say it all the time how blessed I feel, but I really do mean that. I, I feel very blessed. I don't know Samantha feels the same way that we're able to actually do this and you know one day our dream is to do this full time that would be like just a chef's kiss but for now we're just having fun kind of doing our own thing and, and taking you all on our adventures and just kind of showing you how we do Disney and hopefully you know all the Wonderlanders out there that watch this they you know take something from it whether it's any type of tips or advice or food recommendations or maybe you just want to come along and just kind of see how we do it you know Disney's for everyone young and old and it doesn't matter but there is definitely right and wrong ways to do Disney and I hope that we can help you do that time has come to say goodbye it's unfortunate but it has to happen right all good things must come to an end it's very true no one can stay at Disney forever even though I'd love to <laughs> Wouldn't mind, it'd be okay. You know, if Disney wants to pay our bills. Well, Wonderlanders, if you've made it to the end of the series, thank you so much. You made it! <laughs> Please like this video, subscribe if you have not. All of our socials will be linked below because there'll be plenty of vlogs on the way. Wonderland TV not coming back to Disney? As if. <laughs> well, again, thank you as always. We love all of our fans out there. This is just a part-time thing for us. We'd love to do this full-time, but without y'all and your support, I mean, I don't think we really would be doing this. Absolutely not. So just we want to just thank you. We both feel very blessed. And let's see what happens next. Bye.